Hey, what's going on, guys? This is next week five, and welcome back to some more rolling lines. And today we are in the winter wonderland because it is that time of year once again. And yeah, it's time to work on the winter area. So before I actually do that, I hope you guys are enjoying this game on the channel. If you want to see more, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. First thing I'm going to do is start making sure that we can edit these tracks, just so that way I can expand on them. And I also added some more dynamic snow onto the tracks before I started filming. So, yeah, there should be a good amount of tracks here. Wait, no, there should be a good amount of snow, I mean. And I probably should also make sure I can edit these because I'm going to need to. Wait, what did I just do? On. Uh, where are the trees? Wait, this is terrain. This is not what I want. Uh, where are the... For some reason, the game likes to lag. I don't know why. Ah, right, here we go. These are all the trees that we have. Yeah, you have the normal pine trees and then these as well. Although, looks like we have the right ones, so we're going to be using these. Oh, wait, there we go. I was wondering why it was... It was like that. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Because I also want to make a, maybe like a ski resort up in the mountains. And I might expand on those mountains in another video. So we can uh, start doing some mountainous tracks because I feel like that will look really cool. But yeah, right now we're just going to work on this. I'll probably also eventually just do start doing a loop. Like maybe start doing a loop over here. Like I don't really know. Hmm. How would I want to do this? I didn't really think things through before filming this video. Obviously we have all this. This is all from last year. Like nothing has really changed about this. Like yeah, you still have the Polar Express, you still have these freight cars, you still have these trains, you still have the snow plow, you still have this thing, which I don't know if it was there before or not, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah sorry about that, excuse me. Um and we're gonna Oh gosh. We're gonna start putting these on top of tracks. Are these Above the ground still? Oh yeah, they are. Okay, so they still have enough ground clearance. That's good. Yeah, before it wasn't like that, and like the snow were kind of was kind of floating above the ground. So yeah, it was a little bit weird. But it looks like that's that has seemed to be fixed. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this entire area and cover it up with snow. Because I feel like that would be the, that would be a thing if it's in the middle of a for a winter forest, especially with all the snow falling off of the trees and onto the tracks. Yeah, we're going to do this, and also we'll probably want to train through here later on once we're done with all this because I feel like it'll look really satisfying just to see all the snow getting pushed out of the way. Oh, wait, yeah, fair warning. Whenever I look over here, whenever I look up, when I got any of this, uh, the game might lag a little bit because, uh, yeah, everything else is over there. And, and yeah, I don't think the game likes it when it can see everything at once. Actually, we can see the, the cathedral from the, from the new, uh, the second city over there. That's actually kind of cool. 
Actually, no, that's too close to the tracks. I'm trying to make sure that these trees aren't too close to the tracks because that will look really weird. And also, I don't want any, like, clipping going on. Also, I don't know what the extent of the of this forest is going to be. I haven't really decided on that. But yeah, most of this... Most of the snow... Well, most of this area is going to be really barren. Because based off of... Like, very snowy environments. That's how it, it looks like in real life. So I'm just going to leave it just very plain. Even though it might look a little bit weird. Like, just having nothing. But it will work. And it's actually really realistic. And my, I might leave a few... Uh, although I might just, like, put in a bunch... A couple of... Like, a couple of the tree... Of these trees. Every... Like, a few... Like, every couple feet or something. Yeah, just make sure that it has at least some sort of... You know... Just some sort of detail, because a little bit of detail is better than nothing, than just nothing at all. I also don't really know how big I want this forest to be. Like, I I feel like that it should be fairly big. Like, we might still keep it going up into into here. I don't know, how does this look from here? I might, I might even, like, put some trees up there. But, yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm probably going to do other stuff besides just doing this because I feel like this video will be really boring if I just spent the entire video just placing a bunch of trees. So, yeah, we're going to try and move on from that for now. And actually, we are going to add some more dynamic snow. Like so. Hey, that rhymed. Okay, and go back to the menu. Oh, the game is not like that. Yeah, sure, we'll, we'll... Actually, no, we won't use that. Yeah, here we go. Um, And now I'll just teleport all the way back here. Wait, am I in the right area? Okay, there we go. Now we need to get some paint. Okay, so we need this. We're going to leave that there. And we need this. Because, yeah, we're going to have a a split in the tracks here. And we're going to take this track to that side of the map. So, we're going to go back to tracks. And apparently there's something new. In, wait, what's new? Oh, yeah, right. It's the new engine. Okay, so... There's that. Oh, and the problem with the snow is that I can't see my cursor, so I don't know where I'm clicking sometimes. Yeah, I probably should keep at least one copy of the of the tracks out, just so that way I'm not constantly going back and doing. <laughs> Excuse me, and not constantly going back to the main. Like, the interface and getting more track pieces. Hmm, we're going to get another one. We're going to paint it. And we're just going to paint it white. Uh, 
Let's see. Oh yeah, right. Um We're going to do this. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks pretty good. Actually, we're going to do this real quick. We're going to place one here. Just so I don't need to go back. So now I'm going to cover all this up. And it doesn't matter, especially now that I have that out here. Okay, and I think now is the time when I'll start adding on these. Adding more trees. Yeah, look at this. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, uh, I forgot that, uh, that I guess my body has collisions still. So yeah, I walked over the paint can and it kind of just shot in a random direction. This actually is looking like a nice, fo a nice winter forest. Yeah, let's see how this looks. I want to see how this looks here. Ooh. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, maybe I should move those things because that looks a little bit weird. <laughs> okay, I didn't notice that. Yeah, maybe, I, maybe I'll move that. Wait, what is this, honestly? What the heck? Can I edit this? Wait, is this edit room? Oh, it's edit room. That is wonderful. Yeah, we're gonna just... We're just gonna remove all of this. Because, yeah, having a giant blue wall in my world it looks a little bit weird. I'd rather just have natural walls. Because that just looks... Because, again, yeah, that looks weird. Come on, I'm getting rid of all of this. I really hope I don't accidentally delete something else. Okay, is all this... 
You make sure that everything there is good. Oh gosh. Just spam the edit room button. What was that? Oh yeah, by the way, I know that you're seeing like the red mounds from the desert, but don't worry, once this area is complete, that will all be covered up. At least I think it will. I'm pretty sure it will. All right, come on. This will probably also save up on lag. Now that I think about it. Because, like, the, the more stuff that I add on to this map, the longer it takes for this map to load. Whenever I load it, whenever I load up, whenever I boot up the game. Okay, are we good? I think we are good. Except maybe for that little part right there, but that's fine. I'll probably fix that in the future once I get to that area. Okay, now that we've dealt with that. Wait a second. Oh wait, yeah, right, that's my sample. That's my sample track piece. Hmm, where should I take this track? I think I should start adding in turning pieces. And we're going to do a turn like this. Whoopsies. Oh yeah, by the way, I I just want to thank you guys for all the support that you have on the series. I actually really do appreciate it. Because it, it lets me know the, what you guys like. And I actually do like building this map too. Because sometimes I do, I do admit, it can get a little bit boring. Because, um... Yeah, it's just like building a map and eventually you get bored about it. But then I see this and you guys support it. And that basically keeps me going. It's how I never run out of steam, basically. So yeah, thank, thank you guys for supporting this series. I really do appreciate it. I really do hope that this map does become one of the biggest maps in the game. Let alone in the workshop. Because, let alone, because keep in mind, it's not even done yet. Because we still have all that area over there. To complete. And now I'll start making other turn pieces. Okay, we're... I might eventually stop... 
around here because yeah we're getting a little bit too close to the mountains and i do want to start and i will probably expand those mountains just so now i can do like a mountain a mountainous area and like a ski resort and and all that so yeah we're gonna stop there for now and we're going to come back to it once we get to that area because i feel like that since i'm starting very very early after thanksgiving I might actually be able to uh, finish this area before December ends. Okay, that's a little bit too close for comfort. Yeah, look at that. All right. Let's see, how much is this? Wait a minute, is this? Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. Uh. Wait, wait a minute. How far are we? Okay, we're not that far. We're not that far from uh, the mountains. We're not as far as those tracks. Actually, we can start doing that. Actually, hold on a minute. I'm going to start getting some turning pieces. So I can start making a turn to the right. Actually, hold on, hold on a minute. Oh, come on. Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong thing. Oh, come on, are you serious? Now I need to go all the way back here. Wait, where am I? There we go. Oh, I was seeing the wrong key. I was like, why isn't this getting removed? It's because I was seeing the wrong key. Which paint can is this? Where's my cursor? <laughs> Seriously, where's my cursor? There it is. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to do the same thing with this. Okay, so we do have... We now have a better, well, at least we now have a, a break in the track. That's what I was mean to say. Okay. Yeah, I'm, don't mind me, I'm just, uh, 
spamming this. Okay, I'm actually now going to go to miscellaneous and get some snow, some more snow. Oh gosh. Oh wait, speaking of which, we set, my family set up uh, the Christmas tree and every year I have a train set that goes around the tree. And yeah, we still haven't had the snow yet, but it already looks pretty cool. I thought I just wanted to mention that. So yeah, this isn't the only place where I have trains in my house. <laughs> well, although technically this isn't really a physic a physical object. This is just this is just all digital. It's just ones and zeros at the end of the day, but it's still really really cool. Like who else would have a layout this big? Honestly, realistically speaking, no one would have a layout this big. But yeah, this I think this is everything I'm gonna do for this episode of Rolling Lines. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.